Hey, it's Captain Brian, and uh, this is week two of my uh, getting the boat ready for the winter. Uh, last week, we uh, emptied out the freshwater tank and put a couple of gallons of pink in there. Uh, and uh, we also pumped out the, the head tank, the, the toilet tank, uh, one last time, and we filled up the fuel tanks uh, for the winter. And uh, so now uh, it's time to uh, finish the freshwater system, which means distributing the, uh, the the pink antifreeze, uh, or otherwise known as pink, throughout the cold and hot water lines to all the sinks and the shower heads and everything. And uh, before I do that, I'm going to have to bypass the hot water heater so that the pink doesn't have to fill up that hot water heater. And uh, we'll drain that for the winter. And then we'll move on to the raw water systems, you know, the engines, the generator, the air conditioner, as well as the gray water systems, which is uh, drains and sumps. Uh, but before I do all that, I got to get into my bilge uh, clothes, so stand by. All right, so uh, might get a little dirty with this job, so definitely put wear clothes if you don't mind getting dirty. And uh, first thing is to bypass that hot water heater, so let's take a look at that. And hey, sorry about the uh, camera work. My, my wife Diane usually uh, does the camera work, but I'm, it's a, I'm on a so solo mission here, so... Uh, you, you get what you get. So there's my hot water heater. And as you can see, there's a, a bypass tube here. And uh, I think I should be able to just turn this all the way over. And that should send all the water through the bypass instead of through the hot water heater. That way, when I run pink through the system, I won't run it through the hot water heater, which would be wasteful because this thing's like 11 gallons. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hook a hose to this drain here, and I'm going to drain the contents of the water out into the bilge, and the bilge pump will pump it out over the side. And, uh, and I'll lift this uh, relief valve to let some air in so that it can drain out real good so that's that's first okay I don't know if you can see that but it's draining out got the relief valve pulled up halfway so it lets air in the top and I opened up that valve down there to let it drain out the bottom set this to bypass so I should be able to uh, now transfer pink into all the sinks. You know what, scratch that bit about using this valve to bypass because the valve seems to be old and not working very well. So instead, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take these water lines off and I'm gonna take the bypass off and I'm gonna use the bypass to connect this hose to that hose and that'll bypass the entire hot water heater. Now the way these work are is these little C-clips just pull them out like this. Don't drop them into builds because you'll never see them again. Actually, I'm going to take this one out and this one out and this one and this one. So let me do that real quick. All right, so I got that water heater bypassed. See, I got the, the tube connecting the, the hot, the, the cold input and the hot output from the, from the water heater. And the water heater is completely disconnected and draining uh, its remaining water into the bilge. So uh, that's good for the winter. It's all just empty. Now I can, uh, you know, distribute the, the pink to all the sinks and shower heads. Turn on my water pump. Okay. And I'm just gonna run the hot water. Get all the regular water out of there that would freeze over the winter and stop when I start seeing things. There it is. Cold water side too. Okay. And repeat for all the sinks and shower heads on the boat.
sure. I think I did the, this cold side already. Yeah, I did. Okay. And the aft head. I did the cold side in these head sinks uh, last week when I was getting ready to winter, uh, to empty out the head because I didn't want any water left in the headline. So I did that first so I could flush with pink one last time. And we'll do more, make sure there's a decent amount of pink sitting in the head tank so that there's no, any leftovers in there, doesn't freeze. You don't want that to crack, that would be a disaster. Okay. So next is uh, th the shower. And again, hot and cold. Cold first. This will also help me uh, winterize the, the gray system, which is this, you know, this shower drain drains into a sump pump that's below the water line, so it has to pump it out of the boat. And so, uh, you know, that's considered the gray water system, and we got to take care of that too. All right, turn the paint. I'm gonna switch to hot. You gotta be careful because there's, you know, a single single hose going up here, so you gotta wait and make, make sure that you know there's no regular water still in the line somewhere that you're not thinking about. So let it run. That's why I put like six gallons of pink in there, just so I'd have enough for all this nonsense. Not to mention, I need enough to fill up the sump box under the floor. So all right, that looks good. And we got a couple other things. We got wash down pumps in the, on the uh, swim platform and on uh, by the anchor. Take care of them next. So that was it for the fresh water system. Just basically run pink through all the, uh, the you know, sinks and shower heads and everything. So nothing's gonna freeze in that system. Next thing I'm gonna do is work on the uh, the engines and the generator and the, the, the air conditioner or water pump. Okay. The raw water system is all about sucking water out of the river through these seacocks, there's one for each motor, one for the generator, and there's another one for the air conditioner up forward. And uh, so, you know, you can close these seacocks to stop the water from coming in, and we got to do that. So let's let's work on the uh, the starboard motor first. So let me just turn this sideways. <clears throat> so that's closed now. And then the, the raw water comes up, the river water comes up through this hose and into this strainer and take the top off the strainer just loosen the loosen these up and then i should open that up like that you see there's an actual strainer in there and you see it's dirty at the bottom because uh you know you go in shallow water you suck up a little bit of sand mud whatever so you want to clean that out so i'm going to Take that, put it, throw it in a bucket, take it up on the dock and rinse it out. Next thing I did was I built myself a little hose connection to this top, the temporary top that I can screw onto the top of that strainer. And then I'll connect this to a tank full of pink to, and then run the engine and suck the pink through instead of river water. So, let me get that all set up. All right, so this, I'm using this winterizing tank, which you can get online. 
and this is a five gallon tank and I, I've had this one for a long time so I've customized it and made some, you know, I don't know if you want to call them improvements but you know I replaced the hose and everything and I like having a clear hose because then you can see the pink getting transferred in because the last thing you want to do, you know, the, the, the raw water pumps on the engines and everything, they're driven by a rubber impeller. So if you run them dry, you'll wreck them. And uh, so you definitely don't want to, uh, you know, you want to make sure that your connections are all tight so you're not sucking air. And you want to make sure that pink's getting transferred in the engine. All right, so now I'm ready to start the starboard motor and watch that pink get transferred through there. So let's get that. I'm just gonna turn on the starboard engine so I don't make any mistakes. And uh, so that should be good to go. And this will only take a few seconds to transfer the pink through. So we gotta wash the level in the tank, make sure we don't run it dry. So I'm just gonna start up this starboard engine. spill a ton into the bills either so I'm gonna let it kind of finish and then I'll shut it off. There we go. Alright, so that starboard engine is now winterized. Let's move on to the next one. Alright, I got the uh, the port motor uh, connected up to my pink tank old pink again and oh by the way I, I use a piece of string here just to tie it up because uh, when it's close to empty and you're moving the, the hose around it gets pulled in and you spill a bunch of pink in the bilge that's no fun so that's what the string's about I've got a smaller version for the generator and the air conditioner which have a smaller strainer and by the way this this black stuff this is a shelf liner for you know or you know drawer liner for kitchen counters it's kind of thick and rubbery so it made a good seal um, you know total rig <laughs> anyway time to do the generator all right so I got my generator uh, connected to my winter winterization tank and so cranked up the gen for a few seconds Keep an eye on this level here. All right. All right, so I got my uh, air conditioner water pump hooked up to my head tank. I mean, my, uh, my winterization tank. So I'll kick that on and uh, take care of it. Let's see. Salon air conditioner, pump relay, set to cool, I'll crank it down until it kicks on. Let's see what the temperature is, 60, all right, that should do it. Here it goes. Yep, that's working. That should spit out the side. Yep. Thing coming out. All right, we're good there. So <clears throat> that was it for the uh, raw water systems. My engine, and generator, and air conditioner are all set. I want to take, make sure I take care of the gray water systems. Let me show you what I mean by that. Uh, down below the salon floor here is two sump pumps. And those connect to uh, a couple places, to, to the shower drains and the floor of the bathrooms. 
and also to the uh, drip pans for the uh, condensation from the air conditioner. So they, they drip and they come through these lines into this sump pump. And when the sump pump gets full, the little bilge pump pumps it over the side. So, uh, you know, there's water in there. We gotta replace that with pink. So that means pouring some pink down the drain uh, in the shower until the bilge pump kicks on and spits the water out and we're left with nothing but pink. All right, they're all pinked up. So the gray water system, such as it is, two little sump boxes is done. Uh, the, the sink drains on the boat just drain right over the side so there's no sump for them. So uh, that's about it. Um, the only thing left, although the head tank, the black water system is empty, uh, I'm gonna pour a, a gallon of pink down each toilet and flush it through and so that it makes sure absolutely no water is in the in the tubes in the pump uh you know in the hoses the pump or the and you know there's a, a decent amount of pink in the tank you know a gallon or two so uh that's the last step and then we're we're done this boat is all set nothing left to do Nothing's going to freeze on the boat. There's no water on this boat, except for a little cup of water for the captain. And uh, I'm kind of sweaty, a little, little antifreeze in my, on my hands and whatnot, but uh, none the worse for wear. And uh, I actually have one more thing to do before she gets put away for the winter, and that's take the canvas down and put a tarp over her because it'll probably be who knows how long before they put the shrink wrap on. So the boat will get filthy. Uh, try to keep you know keep it dry. I don't want the helm getting wet and the seats getting uh, all mildewy, whatever. So uh, you know just try to keep the boat dry in the process. So uh, that's next. But for now, I'm going home. It's about noon or so. That took a couple hours to do, and uh, you know I'm all set. I you know tend not to trust other people to do this kind of work for me because if they forget. Uh, you know, then in the spring you got something that froze and broke and, you know, maybe you can't go boating in, until it gets fixed and, you know, uh, mechanics are busy in the spring. So, uh, you know, I just do, learned to do this myself. Been doing it for 20 years. All right. See you soon. Maybe in the spring.